I am not in a good mood to be recording this. A uh, couple of reasons why. Uh, well, I'm tired as hell and surviving on four hours of sleep as I thought I would. Uh, that could potentially make the recording better or worse. And I'm not sure about chilling yet. But I guess we'll see when... Uh, When we get to it. I could have gone back and ground uh, for experience against the Amazing Daisies, but I didn't want to. So let's make our way up to Starhaven. Via the Starway, apparently. That's what it's called. Make haste to Starhaven. if I can, like, avoid enemies here. Good luck with that, Cody. It is required that I fight- Whoa, okay. I didn't realize it would split off from another- Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Oh well. I'm at level 22 right now. And here is our first, uh, Merly spell of this spell. Why do I have so little hit points, hard points? No, you don't. I wanted to avoid you fuckers. Okay, let's do this. Oh my lord almighty. Well, that just delayed the recording by about a minute. These battles. And I'll have to delay it by even more um, uh, to recover all my health. Ah, uh, what's a coin? It could be the it could be the difference between life or death. And there's a star. Uh, I could interact with the NPCs, but I just want to find the one that gives me a rest. Because I kind of need it right now. Toad House. Why is there a Toad House in Starhaven? Please relax. Take care. Bye. 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 Alright. And this is the Palace of the Star Spirits. Apparently. And we get really ominous music. And we enter here, and there are the star spirits. They talk to us, apparently. The final star spirit's power. And we get a whole bunch of special effects, as per regular Nintendo standards. Star Beam. Okay, then why didn't you use it against Bowser in the beginning? That really doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they use that against Bowser in the beginning? They could have saved themselves a whole lot of trouble. Oh well, I guess you shouldn't question it. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Let's do this. Am I ready to take off? You damn right I am. Commoners prey upon the stars. You're pretty obsessive. <laughs> this little guy just wants to eat tons of cake. 
Understandable. And we are finally on our way. So begins the last chapter, a star-powered showdown. And we're in Bowser's loading dock. And there's a save block that I'm not gonna use yet. And we get some bubbling lava. Uh, there's the deep focus badge I was talking about. And a locked door, so let's go this way. Couldn't possibly lead to anything important in here, right? And since I already tattled these guys all the way back in the Shy Guys toy box, there's no need to tattle them right now. Okay, I don't know why I changed to Kumbario. Yeah, okay. Still don't know why I have Zap Tap on. Dimmed. And he drops a key. Uh, let me check my badge list. I'm pretty sure I should take Zap Tap off. At least for now. Alright. And... Attack! Attack, attack! All the way. Never stop attacking. I'm gonna avoid as many battles as I can. Whoa, that was a friggin' Matrix dodge if I ever saw one. No. And we come to face to face with Bowser's ugly mug. Obviously, it's a trap, but you gotta do it. Fooled ya! <laughs> Mario's eyes turning away as he falls. And hey, there's this heart block. And he taunts us, as is the norm for, well, Bowser. And here are a whole bunch of people in Bowser with many cells. A tasty tonic for some reason. And there's the minister of the castle. You remember him from the beginning, from the beginning of the game, right? Bowser's reject. Alright. Well, we got a cracked wall here, so let's use Bombette to blow it up. Eh, can't move. It's because Bombette talks to you. Stop talking about cake, goddammit. Portal stream was like a few days ago. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got some lava here. from uh, Mount Lava Lava, don't you? Nice sure do. Hey, why do we say we put our newest party member to use? This stupid thing. Which makes that uh, platform go on over. That continental drift, apparently. Come on. Uh... You will want to go in there eventually, but not yet. And there's a very good reason for that. Oh, wow. Xbox controller is failing me yet again. And my nose is stuffed again. And now I need paracarry. That gap looks like a major asshole. What is that one? I'm not taking any chances here unless I have to do all this shit again. I could try and be a badass, but I know that's just gonna end up in failure. 
So let's uh, use Lucky Last turn here. And now we gotta use uh, another party member. Pass through the lava fall. It's actually really cool, I like the lava. Gotta use Paracarry again. Yes, we do. Okay. That one you want to enter. And as you can see, there's a massive lava fell coming up from above, so. Let's go up here, and there's some cookies. Alright, so. Should I go about this? Because I don't have a plan stand. Let's use Cooper. And these Cooper trolls are complete cowards. And this magic Koopa courses them into attacking. So let's take the fight to them. They're not that they're not particularly hard after all. Magic Koopa has the same uh, hit points as the other Magic Koopas you can plot throughout the game, but well, except the one um, uh, when you accompany Twink from Shooting Star Summit, but, or you met Twink at Shooting Star Summit, but 11 hit points. But now they can use every single bit of magic that you've seen previously, so they can do anything. Now that the lava has cooled, you want to go back. Let's drag out Lackey Lester, and since I don't have the speedy spin badge, to using Lackey Lester to go across is much faster. Yeah. I like the texture of the cooled lava. It looks really evil. And here's a treasure chest that you wouldn't have been able to access if the lava were still hot. And you get a key. Well, there hasn't been a locked door that you've seen so far, but trust me, there's one coming up. Okay, get up here. Go back to Lucky Lester. Just cruising around at the speed of uh, Cloud Nine. At the speed of Cloud Nine, yeah, I totally made that. And now we erupt in total darkness. And we have. Wow, yeah, cooling the lava made it almost impossible to see anything. And those are bony beetles. You don't want to meet them in a dark alley, but unfortunately you have no choice. Uh, this place is a bit of a maze. Uh, you have to. Yeah, you have to have Paracarry fly you across in the dark. But fortunately, you can use Watt to gauge the distance you need to be at before. Uh, and I fucking failed already. No. Now this Xbox like has a fucking mind of its own. Did I say did I did I just say Xbox or did I did I successfully say Xbox controller? Because I meant Xbox controller. Sorry. All right. Uh, we got some Koopa trolls here. No, leave me alone. I don't like you. I said leave me alone. Wow. Okay, that was a dead end, and now I'm now I'm screwed. No. Me alone. Well, I know there's a place where you go to take them, like the the mid, the upper path, but I haven't. Whoa, my god. Okay. And 
I believe this nets you the way out. No. I'm not dealing with your crap. Oh, okay. No, this was the wrong way. Okay. And I didn't actually mean to attack him. Wow. I'm not happy about that at all. Can Wat attack him without taking damage? Yes. Yeah. Bony beetles have two methods of attack. They'll either spin into you when they're, uh... Not when they're, uh, have smooth shells. And they'll hop into you if they have spikes. Have spikes up. And attacking them causes them to switch modes. They're kind of nifty little enemies. I believe they make a return in one of the newer Super Mario Brothers. There's also a bony piranha plant, which really makes no sense. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to fall down here. Bye, Magic Hoop. What the heck? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> sure. Uh, Star Swarm again, because I'm probably going to level up from this. Yeah, I am going to level up from this, because that Magic Cube just released a shitload of friggin' Star Points. Oh, okay, dick. Okay, they just called in reinforcements. I'll just use Star Storm again. <laughs> Keep bringing them on, buddy! I don't even need to hold A for that one. There we go. You gonna bring more in? Oh, okay. Um... I don't think I can damage them when they're like that, so... Yeah. And when you switch away from wet in this, even in battle, uh, it goes dark. So I actually might be forced to take a super attack if he keeps doing that. Nope, that's fine. And turbo dash. Yes. And level up. Excellent. Well, I think you know what's getting increased. Yep. Okay, that was definitely worth it, baby. Yeah, I know, I, I just ripped off what Joel from Vine Sauce said. That's fine. Yep. The end is here. And you push this aside. And guess who's on the other side of it? Yep, you're back here. Yep. You wouldn't expect the Bowser statue to keep its word, even if he had been tricked, right? Alright, so... Uh, let's actually use the save block, why not? Okay, there's two path paths you can take, and one of them just leads to, like, I think a storeroom. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's a storeroom. And the shopkeeper is a spiky Goomba. Yep, one of the earliest enemies. I don't need anything from here, so I'm gonna just rosy on away from you. You have, like, friggin' halitosis or something. Alright, oh god. No. No. I already leveled up. I already got the experience I wanted. Uh, do we go into a castle battlement? Nope! Okay, this. Uh, you see the docks up there? Yeah, you need sushi. Uh, there's no enemies here, I don't think. You just need to solve this stupid water puzzle. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm gonna... Stop talking about the play for a minute and focus on another daunting thing. Uh, I probably I think I mentioned 
yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it like a video or two ago. Uh, what LP do you guys want me to do next? Like, I have friggin... I could do a billion friggin' Pokemon um, uh, Let's Plays. I could attempt to do Mass Adventures of Tron Bond again, even though I haven't tested that out yet. I probably should, but yeah. And there's like a gazillion other things. I have a, P I have um, uh, a PC game uh, called Lord of the Rings: War of the Ring, which is basically a dumbed-down StarCraft 3. I think it's it's either Warcraft 3 or StarCraft 3. I can't remember which one, but it's it's for a sh for a shitty fan game. I or any ripoff game. I still like it a lot. It was one of the... F it's basically the first um, RTS game I actually really liked. So... Mario, what are you doing turning around suddenly like that? You scared me. Yeah. I also could try... One of the two Need for Speed Undergrounds, but that would be a long journey. Especially Need for Speed Underground 2, that's like at least 200 races, and I don't think I'm cut out for that one. Uh, I know Underground 1 has uh, like 111 plus a bonus race, cough cough, but. Yeah, it's just some of the and some of the races in Underground 2 are really long with the Underground Racing League ones. And the tournament ones, which But that would be nothing like compared to something like the friggin' Forza games. Like holy shit, they're long. Okay, yeah, these th I'm gonna start talking about the game again. Yeah, bombshell bills. <laughs> These things will just come at you. And they're really relentless. Mario, switch to that, please. Oh, yeah, I was so close to it, I couldn't anticipate at all. I think these students have three hit points and six attack power. I don't know how much defense they have. I don't think they have any. I know they have some in the next game. But... All right, got the tornado. Jump in. Uh, I'm gonna hammer you for great justice. There's no way to avoid these bastards either, uh, cause there's like three positions in this room that with no way to avoid them. I think there's another enemies that join them too later, so. That was a fail, but I managed to guard it and take less damage than I would have otherwise. Haha! -ha. Okay, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Okay, yeah, hammering or jumping does the same. The damage is the same. I guess they have 10 hit points or something. There we go. Your toast. And star point star point boost at last. Holy shit. Oh 
Are we gonna level up again after this? Uh, in, a, in a bit. Come on. Yeah, there's ones above you. Like, I guess there were four. Come on. Gotcha. And yeah, there's a cool troll, I thought so. Uh, Starstorm, because I'm lazy. <laughs> Could have bought a, like, sold by my maple syrup and bought a whole lot of Thunder Rages, but who wants to do that? And I don't want you calling for any help, so get out of here. Bill Blaster, because I don't want him calling any more bullet bills. You can, like, go live in a friggin' camper van or something. Yeah, go live in a camper van, yeah. Yep, okay. No. No. Come on. And uh, this time I completely friggin' failed. Um, I'm gonna use Star Storm twice because these guys weren't Star Storm. That Magikoopa is that Magikoopa can suck my dick. Boom, boom. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna do that. Uh, let's bring out Bomb Pet. Because... Yep. There we go. Now I have one more, uh... Star Storm, just in case. Bring Wad out again. Again, just in case. What do we have in behind door number one? Oh, this. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're you're an asshole. Yeah, dry bones. They do it in other games too. They just toss, sit there and toss bones at you. Okay, go up through here. Heart block. That's appreciated. The aesthetics of this castle really do fit Bowser's. Uh... Oh God. Yeah, he's just gonna. I hate enemies that do that so much. So yeah. And no, fuck off. Uh Okay, yeah. I suppose that was mandatory at some point, right? Yep, Star Storm's required, yet again. None of them are killed. Alright, let's see. Mega Shock. Ah, excellent, okay. Again, was that really necessary? Oh my oh golly golly G Willikers. Oh Bowser's Castle. Uh I'm just gonna focus. Yay. I'm gonna smack you good bitch. permanently get rid of you, I have to sadly do this. And it does a fuckload of damage to them for some reason. But man, that is a lot of star points. Uh, I'm not gonna go back and fight those dry bones for experience because, well, I want, kinda wanted to get through this quickly because I know if I don't, so I'll have to abandon the stream attempt on, uh, Saturday. 
Um... Wait, what am I doing? We're, the door was in the last room, wasn't it? Wow. And I didn't see it because I only pushed the first block aside. Uh, one second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah, because uh, this is now a second recording, I'm gonna have to use some uh, my video editor to put the two clips together. It shouldn't take overly long, but... Uh, I'm... kinda contemplating whether to stop here or... go on. I guess I'll go on. Anyway, you get to this guy again. Because, of course, he's supposed to be everywhere. the quiz. And it shows you... Yeah. Three Koopas and four Goombas. Shy guys, four blue shy guys, and four green shy guys. So I'm guessing they're gonna ask. What were there three of? I don't know. <laughs> How about that? Alright. So far, so good. Shy guys, hello. Duh. Same exact dialogue, alright. Two Gumbas, four Koopas, three blue shy guys, one green shy guy. And they all went in really weird entrances. How many Gumbas were there? Two, duh. Alright, one more and we can go on. Okay, sure. Uh, a Dark Koopa, a Koopa Troop, and a Goomba. Okay. Arms. Uh, four. Probably be talking a bit closer. Uh, repel gel is nice, but not necessary. No, don't do that. Hi. Haha, <laughs> fool. Blocks. All right, let's go ahead. And we get some funky music. All right, well, I think I'll cut it here for now. Uh, next time we traverse through more of Bowser's Castle. So see you then.